Hello, and thank you, everybody, for coming to the bunker on this Thursday night. We have a very exciting show for you tonight. Uh, Arias is here with a band. I think these folks are from Nashville. We've got Zach, we've got Justin, and we have Elijah sitting in on bass. This is going to be a really exciting show. I am really looking forward to it. Um, uh, before we get into the show itself, you will be able to leave tips, please. Uh, look mostly for Venmo at uh, Arias Rising, and you'll see it at Arias Rising if you have Venmo. She would really appreciate that, so consider that along the way. You don't have to do it right now, but uh, remember that, Arias Rising. That's really easy. If you don't have Venmo, you can use the Bunker Live um, at PayPal at the Bunker Live or any credit card. Uh, and the links are down below, and I'll make sure I get that at least 50-50 split over to the band. That's usually what I do. doesn't really matter. Um, very exciting. We've had this show set up here for a while. The sound check sounded great, and she calls herself Dark Pop. I think she's doing herself a discredit. I think she has a really large breadth of sounds, um, but you can be the judge of that as we get into the show later. We have, um, I will call out, we have Brian Christian Adam on camera one as usual. And Brian and Zach run an open mic in O'Neill's Pub, and I always pitch that for them. Uh, and this is in Lombard, and you can check that out if you want to. We also have uh, Josh Dutch here tonight running camera two, which he always does, and he's part of the Underbelly Hours, which I encourage you to go check out if you don't know that. That is very cool. Without any further comments, um, thank you for coming to the bunker. We are free to the audience. We are free to the art artists. All we ask is you like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's all we're doing to build uh, followers. And we have uh, original indie music and and we're a venue for original artists to get their music out there. She has a, a very cool release come uh, that you heard on the intro. She and that's part of an album she just released. And I'd encourage you to go find that in Spotify. The links are below. Again, do that later. But follow the artist as well on their social media and follow the bunker on YouTube. Uh, Arias, tell us what you're going to do tonight for us, please. What do you got going? 
Well, I'm going to play some music if that's all right with you guys. <laughs> that's entirely fine. Thank you so much. Have a great show, guys. Thank you so much, Fletch. <laughs> Shutting down the time by my humble heart awakened when I heard the sound of guitar. Looked your way when you played the first line. Your smile glistened hard in the light of the bus. I go back to your place, hold me real tight, saying, Babe, the synergy happens once in a lifetime. You chose this road, let's put on a show. I don't know where we're headed, but I'm ready to go. You got me real high and I'm singing in the moonlight, cursing myself for thinking it could be right. Stealing away my inhibitions, now I've got enough. You're the jack of all trades, but I'm after up. Strumming all my heartstrings, humming out your last tune. It's always been a lie when someone said I'd get you just to rock. Star rolling stone light, but I'm ready to run. Be my jack of all trades, but the master of one. Makers, my God, the rocks you never taste so so sweet. I swear to God, your eyes shine bright as dark in Elm Street. I got a heart of gold, but you're tangled up in blue. You say my name, I don't know what to do except close my eyes, check my head, move into the fast lane. Give me all your gas and I'll throw it under this lane. Choked up, tongue tied, don't know how to say the best damn thing that's ever happened to me. You got me real high and I'm singing in the moonlight, cursing myself up.
heart is coming in my periphery I was so misguided to think I could be free studio audience at least it gets me going i want to ask how is everyone doing up there i have the comments right live with me right now i would love to get any questions any comments anything funny that you want to say i want to share that with you i want to see everybody who's on tonight and while people are doing that in the live chat i want to take one second to introduce the band with me we have the jack of all trades himself mr zach keith on the guitar we have my favorite face maker, so uh, since you can see, you will be able to see, uh, be extra theatrical for this right now. Justin Vorp on the drums. Yeah. Yeah. And a last minute fill in, but th so thankful that he is here today. Elijah Svoboda. Yeah. Showing off those bass skills. All right, what do we got? A roar. Well, thank you to Carrie Grace. Um, I appreciate that. I, she said, I'm doing so good. And then she just said, hi. Hi. I see Emily Cooper with some fire hearts. That's my favorite emoji. Thank you, Emily. Um, and then we've got... Oh, that's my family. Oh, cool. We've got Bobby saying, go, Zach. That's Aunt Bobby. Hi, Aunt Bobby. Hey, Aunt Bobby. And then Mitch just said intense. Well, if you thought it was intense before, it's going to be intense later. And you just got to stay tuned. So anyways, the next song that we're going to be playing today is um, one that I do like to give a little bit of a backstory for. So it's about almost a year ago now, about 11 months ago, I moved to Nashville. And shortly thereafter... Uh, Zach followed me there, and very shortly into my stay in Nashville, I uh, found my drummer, Justin. And I never thought that I would ever be as bold as I was when I moved. And so when I wrote Aurora, it came from a place of feeling like the damsel in distress and the princess that couldn't be saved, and just wishing that one day I would be an empowered woman uh, enough to say myself and so then when I moved to Nashville I feel like I finally became the person that I wanted to be and so whenever I play Aurora now I say well where's my independent women and everyone goes ah! drunk girls in the audience and then I go hey you don't need a man and neither do I but I've chosen to have three with me and they're the, all that I need so uh the boys here tonight are the only men in my life I need and this is Aurora
That solo! Oh my goodness! Thank you, thank you. So sick it broke the <laughs> All right, we've got. All right, you are doing so. Okay, we already got that. Oh, um, um, I have a. I want to give a shout out to uh, my best friend in Nashville. Uh, her name I don't know, Aaron o- Olton, but I do. We do know Aaron Oatmeal. And uh, she says that the drummer is cute. I wonder why. Oh, uh, we should set them up. I know. Yeah. That would be so cute. They should go out. Aaron has a crush on you. Lance is dancing. Oh, Stacy, uh, could I hear you from there? Yes. Uh, you and my mom are loud. And so am I. That's why you're my mom's. So, yes, we could hear you all the way from there. Um, Justin killing it and having a blast. All right, fantastic. Everybody else. Hello, Blue Bunny. I don't know who that is, but Bunny is my middle name, so I already love you. Addison, thank you for joining your sister on the chat. Cookie, oh, very nice. Thank you so much. Harsh Med. Hi, Alex. Okay. We are actually going to be breaking down a little bit into a different style of set. So at all of my shows, I really like to, I think it shows a lot of band versatility when you're able to take really intense and really passionate rock ballads, you know, uh, pop songs, all these things that are super high energy, and then really break them down into the acoustic set. And so the first song that we're going to be doing in this acoustic little breakdown here is called I've Got Time. And this is going to be the last song that you know from Blindside. And then we're going to move into a lot of new material that I can't wait to talk about. But this is probably like the most peacefully and um, naively in the most beautiful way innocent song that I've written. And I, it's about when you want somebody so badly and you lose yourself kind of in the process. But the fun spin on that is that like you you just sit there and go, wow, I'll wait for you. I've got time. And now I'm like, oh, my God, I have literally no time for anything. But uh, to 18-year-old uh, Reyes, I want to say at the time, your sentiment was felt. And I love that you love that heart. your faith is the end of the world and I know you're in love with his angel his girl the 
Theatrics and Sue, what do we got going on here? I'm not really, I'm not really seeing any, I'm not really seeing any questions. Everyone's just like, we love you. And I'm like, well, I love you too. But like, what is something about me that you always wanted to know? Hold on. Let me, uh, let me do a quick hair flip. And I want like at least one person to be like, I don't know. What's your favorite outfit change of all time? Wink. So all right, just I'll, ho- I'll hop yeah. in here. I'll ask you a question. Okay. How old are you? When did you start singing? Oh, I love that question. Hold on, hair flip. Okay. <laughs> so I actually was a pianist first, and I really, I, I wrote my first song when I was 14, but I didn't really take like a singing lesson or anything until, and like took it up seriously until I was 17. And... I feel like I have come such a long way in that um, from being just like loud to now like, oh, intense, oh, controlled, oh, beautiful. But I actually have not been singing for as long as like I'm not Beyonce who like was born with a microphone in her hand and won like a contest when she was very, very young or something like that. I, I'm fairly new to singing and I always identified, I think, most as a songwriter and as a pianist. And then I just started writing all, all these songs and I was like, Oh, should I sell them? I was like, I don't want to. They're my story. Like, I wanna, I wanna be the person to sing it and tell it. I was like, well, I better get good at this. So, then I started singing. I asked the right question. Yes, you really did, Fletch. If the audience doesn't ask another one, I'll have to in- interject again. You're sounding marvelous, Arias. Thank you so much. Ooh, Brian said, if you could play any venue, where would you play? Oh, okay. Like the Lady Gaga in me is like. I want to play, and it's not a specific, like, theater, but it's, like, the Super Bowl halftime show is, like, <laughs> nice. is like my dream venue. But one day I really want to, um, I would love to play a jazz set at the Green Mill. Like, my uncle used to do sound there, and when I do a jazz album someday, I would love to play at the Green Mill, like, some of my, like, favorite artists of all time. I think that's the more chill answer, but come on, or, like, who... I would totally play the Super Bowl halftime show. That's answer one. Um, what makes me feel the most connected to my spirit or to spirit when I sing? Oh, this is my favorite part. And it's weird because it's a uh, live stream. So I'm looking at cameras instead of at an audience. But I do this 
not because of any reason except for the fact that I hope that I say something at some point that makes someone else feel like I'm empathizing, you know, with them and that I can make someone feel seen and heard and um, empowered and bold. So when I get to do that in like a live setting, not that this isn't a live setting, but when I get to do that on stage and I get to like really grip somebody and really look them in the eye and sing to them, I think that is the thing that connects uh, me to like spirit the most because I just, I do this for everybody else and for myself obviously too. It's what makes me feel happy, but it also, I, I want the world to be better and I think music is how you do it. So that's it. Okay, I really want to play the next song now, yeah. if that's okay. That's where it's love, everybody. This is all our new ones now. Making out with strangers and crawling through bars I never really thought that it would go this far Didn't know that I was falling till I hit the ground oh, oh, oh. Drinking lots of brown to wash away the blues Every time I turn around it's more bad news The best vice God ever gave me What is you? on my sleeve and no one wins. You're the only one that can save me from my sin. When you say jump I know it's cream how I you gave me both my wings that I need to fly but if I had to do it over I would choose this every time oh every time is a new one so everybody saw um blindside and everyone saw the um the purple and all the paint and the hands and everything so the whole theme around blindside is purple and then the whole theme around the next album is going to be red 
Um, and I really am excited about this one because I think I just level up in so many ways and I get to talk about things that I wasn't prepared to talk about um, when I was writing about heartbreak and, you know, the stages of a breakup and all this stuff when I was 18. And now I just feel like where my mind goes and what I like to dwell on and think about is so much different and uh, deeper and, like, kind of more effed up in a lot of ways. But, like, that's okay. And I, I like to see the growth of what troubles me and how I heal myself through music uh, evolve. But yes, the next song I want to play is going to be um, the title track of the next record. And, and it is going to be called Vices. And the thing that I want to challenge the most in the next record is what people think a vice is, actually. Um, everyone uses it with a super like negative connotation, like, oh, like, oh, that's just my vice. Like, I gotta quit that or I gotta stop that. And I say, like, to that, why? Like, um, it's it's something that can be neutralized. Everybody has a problem, and you can make an idol out of out of anything, and you can make anything, any good thing, into a bad thing. So I really want, I ho and hopefully God will all forgive us at the end of the day for that. So. Vices is kind of my uh, musings on that realm, and I'm really excited to play it for you guys. Appropriate you take a sip of beer Ex right after that dialogue. Right? Oh, you know me. I'm props and theatrics. That's why, that's why it's set up the way that it is. I'm going to throw my robe to the audience. There we go. <laughs> Oh, you're all good. Go! 
Thank you. So we are actually going to, at this point, be transitioning back to the full band set from the bedroom set, is what I like to call my acoustic sets, because I take my clothes off. And I will also get back to the, ooh, I like this one. Why did you choose music as a career path from Addison Curtis? Um, I don't know. It was really stupid, but... At the end of the day, I think that we can all, if we are passionate enough about something, I truly believe that we can make a living doing it. And it might not be at first, it might be super weird, and it might be like crazy roads and working side jobs and all these other things, but I refuse to live my life doing something for the sake of like, okay, it's safe. I don't want to play it safe. Look at me, I have green eyelashes. I just don't feel like I would be setting a good example even for you, Addison and Carrie, if I didn't embrace what I wanted to do and play it smart, do the right things, you know, meet the right people, uh, you know, do a lot of good in that and make do make logical decisions, but at the same time, embrace what I want to do. And I like to sing my songs to her people, and I like to be a total ham on stage. And if I can make a living doing that, and I believe like deep down in my soul that me and every other musician in this room can, I I really would like to. I'd like to embrace that, and I'd like to show everybody else that they can do it too. So that one is that, and actually, I think it transitions really well into my next song. The next song is called Five More Minutes, and I think that someday, everyone in this room, in the people watching in Nashville, everyone has their shot, and they can make it, they have it within themselves. And when we are playing the Super Bowl halftime show one day, um, everyone's going to want the encore, you know, at the stadium. Everyone's going to be going, oh, yes. and it's going to be, that's the moment I'm waiting for. And I can't wait to come out on stage for that encore and go, all right, everybody, I want five more minutes. And then we go into it and it's going to be crazy, you know? Um, so I'm really excited. This is probably, I think my best song to date, but if you disagree, throw it in the comments. I'd love to chat about it. So Without further ado, this one's called Five More Minutes. Steal the throne 
you said five more minutes and I would go. So we are actually moving into our last song. Can I get a big sad emojis from everybody on the live stream going, mm. Anyways, uh, and if you, if you feel like putting the encore one more song in the live chat, that would be cool too. Really amp me up. I like that idea. <laughs> the one more song. One more song. Um, but what I would like to say is uh, thank you all for coming out. Thank you to The Bunker for having us today. Thank you to Brian. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much, truly. Uh, the, the whole team here is like, uh, thank you to Josette for even coming out. Thank you to Josh for helping shoot. Like, everybody has been so kind to us today. And this is a really, really cool setup. So for other local artists in Illinois, if you want to participate in something like this, like, Fletch has a great setup, and I would recommend tuning in and ab subscribing, doing all those great things. Um, my name is Arayas, um, at Arayas Rising on literally everything is where you can find me on social media. But other than that, like, I'll tell you my last little story, if that's okay. Um, at the basement, which is a music venue in um, Nashville, last week, uh, it was 420, and we got to play a 420 show, which was super cool. And I premiered a song that nobody had heard yet before. And I'm going to play it tonight as well to close this set because it was so rad that I, I have to play it at every show now. And I want to know what you think about it in the chat, in the live stream, everything. But absolutely, at the end of the day, thank you so much for tuning in with us tonight. My name is Arayas, and this one is called Forehead. Especially you, Josette. I want to know what you think of these lyrics. I pack my bags and my hands pushing at the door. And then you pull me back where you claim is safe and warm. Kiss my body, but never my forehead. Whoa, whoa. Jump into your water and you wash me with your wings. But every time we're out, you say you hate the rain. But I remember you when late you
Cause you always kiss my body But never mind, boy Because you always kiss my body, but never my forehead. Thank you, everybody. Awesome. <laughs> Fletch, what do you got for me? You know, what I have for you is a big thank you so much for such a beautiful show. I'm going to give the... Uh, do you have another song in your pocket, girl? Uh, do I have another song in my pocket? Yeah. Well, I know you're not really having any pockets on right now. Oh. But... <laughs> Do you have another song available to give this audience an encore? Oh, absolutely. All okay. right. Then they all have to do like emojis of splashing or cool pictures or something. They got okay. 30 seconds um, while you have a sip. And and tell us a little bit. They're going to do that. But uh, uh, tell us a little bit. Look at the camera. Uh, oh, three. So tell us a little bit. All right. Uh, where are you going? You had this. When, when did Blindside come out? How long has it been out? Absolutely. Where would you like people to go? Spotify or iTunes or where, where would you prefer? Honestly, I whatever is the most convenient to you. Blindside came out at the end of 2020 when I finally like realized that I don't care if I don't have a following. I don't care about any of this stuff. I'm just going to release this album. I'm going to move to Nashville and we're going to do it. We're just going to start playing out. We're going to play live. I, and Blindside deserves to be heard even though now I'm already moving on from it, even though, and I love it so much though, and it d truly did get me to where I am today. It came out at the end of 2020, and you can find it on all the streaming services, Spotify, um, Apple Music, Amazon Music, YouTube Music, like truly all of it. Uh, you just Google Arreis, that is A-R-R-E-I-S, and Blindside is the record. And like and share. And, okay, and now what's... Where do you want people to go for social media? What's preferred for you? Is it Instagram or Facebook or TikTok? Or where do you want them to go? I would prefer Instagram. I okay. feel like I just missed the cutoff in the generational gap of Facebook and TikTok. And I just fall right into this like very, the oldest Gen Z Instagram crowd. So that's what I check the most. Like anything that you give me, likes, follows, DMs, stuff like that, I most likely just see it on Instagram and respond to it and post on that. All right. Hold on one second. We're going to circle over to the comments and see what we got. Thank oh. you, Aaron. I see at least eight or nine encores here. One more. So Ooh. I... I actually think I'm going to give a big shout out to Dave Keefe because I was not thinking of that song at all. I was going to be like, let's do, I don't know what to say. But I actually think that let's break out the piano. If you feel more inclined to go to the Cajon for this one, totally fine. You know what, Elijah, if you want to lay in, no, you stick around. Why not? Hiroshima? No. Which one? Jealous Moon. Oh, okay. Your father coming in. All right, let's do it. No, you can, if, yeah, if Elijah wants to hang in there. You do not have a chart for this one. All right, what is this song? It's Jealous Moon. Then you can have to cajon, Justin. It's Jealous Moon. You guys have rehearsed it once before. Is that correct? Oh, no. no we have, we, uh, we've we rehearsed this a, okay. a million times in okay. Nashville. We're just going to change the breakdown a little bit to make it more conducive to hopefully sound the best. Marvelous. Very good. Thank you so much, guys. Absolutely. And thank you, audience, for pitching in there and getting her to play another song. So as Zach kind of bamps and Justin gets reset over here on Cajon, Jealous Moon is my song that, again, when I was moving and I was very, like, I think, didn't come into my own yet and it was in 2020 and I hadn't released Blindside yet. It was because there was a person in my life that didn't want me to do music and didn't want me to bartend or work in the night. He told me to go back to school, marry him, all this stuff. And at the end of the day, I didn't want to do that. So I didn't. It was cool. But I, um, I moved to Nashville and now I get to sing my songs and do exactly what he didn't want me to do because I felt like I was being stifled and now I get to shine. So... Jealous Moon is about that.
the storm because of her lying. Then the next day came and she kept shining bright. The jealous little moon wanted to rule the sky and own the night. The moon tried to take her away from a place in the galaxy. What else you got for me now, Fletch? Oh, man. Well, um, thank you so much, Ar Arias. I enjoyed this immensely. Thank man, you. Man, your, your singing is beautiful. I It makes sense to me now how you said you were a singer-songwriter for, or a player-songwriter first. Oh, really? And then, and then you, you sort of that? drifted into, because your songs are beautifully crafted and they're balanced and the words have meaning. Uh, your performance has emotion. Man, I got to put you in the top ten shows we've had here, and we've had a lot of them. What? Yeah. No. I mean, it's 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 really was a fine show. Thank and you. And thank you, audience, everybody, for coming out tonight. We had a great turnout tonight. Uh, and thank you, Zach and Justin and Elijah. It always helps, you know, when a band's fronted by um, a beautiful singer songwriter with a great voice has a fantastic backing band. And uh, now I know why guys in Nashville are so hot and in and, and desire all the time because that's super. <laughs> right. Um, that's right. So don't forget us up here in Chicago. You know, it's not that far away. No, we won't. Um, not at all. I called you out before, and, I, and I'll, do, I'll say it again. Um, leave um, uh, Arias a tip, uh, and I encourage you to do it. It is at ampersand Arias Rising at Venmo. I'll make sure I put that into the description, but that is going to be there. Uh, follow, and it's free. What you could, The biggest thing you could do from this show, whether you're watching it live or next week or whenever you're watching it, is go look at our social media. The links are in the description of this video. And just give it a like or especially a comment, and a, really a comment on what she's doing. And go to Spotify. If you have Spotify, go and follow them. And, and basically, that's what we try to do here is gain momentum. And I'm more than happy to do it with um, folks like Arias in this wonderful band. Thank you, Zach. Thank you, Elijah. And thank you, Justin. Do any of you guys have any last comments on the way out? No, thank you, Fletch and team. You guys are awesome. Yeah, um, yeah. thank you, Zach. Um, you know, it's funny. Um, you're going to be back here someday, I can tell. Because you have all these other Chicago friends. Oh, said, yeah, you're right. You're yeah, right about that. Yeah, they said, Zach, yeah, you made it to the bunker, and it's, it's not going to be the last time. I don't know no. what, I don't know what vehicle will bring you here, but 
It's karma. Yeah, Trust I'm excited me. to find out. You'll, you'll, you'll be here again. Yeah. He'll probably be Hank. Um, so you say thank you to everybody. Thanks, guys. And um, and then I have a couple announcements, but thank you so much, too. Absolutely. All right. I um, will move on and give you a little idea of what is coming up next, which is um, the Vultures are coming up. Uh, next Thursday. Um, and this is Tony Cruz, and he is coming with the next band. Really looking forward to this. Um, don't know a lot about the Vultures, but I will find out. We then have Brandon Good, a country guy, a man, extremely talented guy, beautiful songwriter, and I call it outlaw country. And he's going to be gritty. He's going to be real. Uh, June 23rd, this is a special jump. I'm having our second annual open mic. This is basically an idea by Brian, Christian, Adam, and Josh and us. The first one was fantastic. We had five artists. We're cutting it down to four now. It's going to be 20-minute open mics. And this is for artists that might not have published material. They might not have a full set, but um, they also might want some opportunity to get in front of a very high-quality audio studio and cameras and sing some original songs. So think of it like... Um, a bar patio open mic, but it's in my basement in the bunker. And then we have a whole plethora of shows. They're really starting to load up. This is just some of them. Uh, Matt Durder is coming up after the Vultures, Half Dog. Uh, All the Wine is in later June. Kabooge uh, is coming up. Uh, just l lock them in. The Early is in mid-July. Uh, Nick Scarpentino. But we have about, oh, I think seven or eight others, and you guys can just go. We have a playlist that will show you all the um, all the shows. So once again, uh, please leave Arias a tip. I am going to play her um, uh, single again on the way out. And thank you, everybody, for coming to The Bunker. Like and subscribe to The Bunker. Take care, and we'll see you next Thursday. But it's more than I can take Cause it feels like a noose around my neck And a habit I can break I know you think you're clever But you're not fooling me I wish that I could scream the truth But it's caught between my teeth And I'm head alone, stuck in the first The more I see the lies I learn If I could change your mind, I'd find a way
and hello.